we always start with a little jog and a stretch just to get the blood pumping. So a nice early shout, high as we can, eyes through the back of that ball. Go and get it. Oh. It looks very basic. The top goalkeepers do that, you know, right at the highest level. International, Premier League, you will do that. Watch that ball right into your gloves. Good. As a goalkeeper, you're not called upon too often, but when you are working, it's got to be sharp. Then I went into the one with the hit shield. When you're in a game, you don't mind if you smash your own defender, the opposition, they'll be looking to hit you. But obviously in training, you don't want to risk any injury. First thought is catch, second thought is punch. If you go with the first thought of punch and then you realise, oh, actually I can catch this, that's when you end up in trouble. Great punch, Monty. Can we get it out of that box? So I wanted the boys picking the ball and can I just get bumped a little and go and get that contact. If you need to squash him, squash him. I'm going to cross from that side, 18 yard box. So that means you can come for anything in the 18 yard box. He can score in either goal. If they come and they clash and they drop it, just put it in, punish them. Then we put the two goals facing each other, trying to introduce a bit oh! of competitiveness. And it should get you in that idea of really attacking the ball, yes! making yes! the right decision. Oh, Take every ball on its merit, but once you decide you're going, you've got to keep going all the way. But if you can go and take a cross, it's not rightfully yours, but you can go and get there, it takes the pressure off. It makes the opposition think, well, if I put a ball in there, it come and take it. So then they start putting the ball further and further back, and it's great for the defenders to know that anything hung up, my goalkeeper's going to come and take it. Oh, great take, Luke. I'll be serving you with a tennis ball. Going to get the reactions going. Trying to be innovative, try and keep it fresh. Can their eyes adjust to it? Can their hands do it? It's just sharp. It's a bit of fitness. It's endurance. Hopefully a little bit of fun. Oh, what a save! Yes! And they end up flying from one side to the other side. How quickly can they get up and look for the next ball, which is a proper football coming as a strike? Couldn't beat you, big man. How many times do you see a goalkeeper make the one save and he's back up quickly to make the second? And that is why you work at these drills for that one moment when you're called upon. Great line. Great line, Monty. They have to work and make six yeah, saves. So they the pick ball. the ball up, run, put it down on a cone, the ball's on its way low. Two collapsing saves. Get it there, get it there. Short, sharp step. Come on, lock on that ball, yes. Then it's two ones bouncing in front. They've got to pick the right line, get in front of the cone, and it's two exploding to the top corner. It's about the quick feet, sharp around the goal, staying balanced, staying locked on the ball. Can they hold it? If not, they've got to make a really good parry and watch that ball right onto their hand. Brilliant, great save. There's nothing better when you worked on something in training and then you take it into a game and it comes off. It's about creating the right habits, creating the repetition, so then hopefully it becomes second nature when they go into a game that's right.